Seattle Opera is very fortunate to have Brian Garman uh, conducting our Traviata this fall. Originally, the Yekoslav Schutte was supposed to conduct it, but he's ill. And I turned to Brian because of his affinity to Verdi. Um, Brian is the music director of our Young Artist program and has not had the opportunity to conduct Verdi with the young artist, but I knew about this. And tell us a little bit about your association with Verdi. Well, I've always felt like Verdi is the composer whose music speaks to me perhaps the best. I've always felt that I have a, a particular affinity for his music that uh, is perhaps greater than what I have for other composers. And I've, I've been fortunate in my career to have, in various capacities as conductor, as assistant, as chorus master, as rehearsal pianist, to have worked on a lot of Verdi's uh, operas. Primarily. I think Traviata is one of those works that I would call mythic. Now, our production is very traditional. Our production is set in 18, the 1850s. Um, that's all, all the way it is. But Traviata is one of those works that really can be done uh, in, any, in any age. One of the great arias in all of opera is 18 bars long, is Amami Alfredo. Of course. Which is just there, and that was Verdi at his most inspired. And it's an example, again, of, of uh, we see this so many times in Verdi's opera, of, of what on paper looks like a simple scale. And we have two very interesting people in Nuccia Focile and Iglesias Gutierrez, very, very different singers. No one really should program Traviata without thinking of the soprano, and I actually did it for Nuccia. Mm -hmm. But then I was very happy to have Iglesias come in, who did a very fine Alvira in Puritani for us, to come in and do this as well. but it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how these two sopranos differ in what they bring to it, because both of them are, Glees just made her debut at the Royal Opera in Covent Garden, Nuccia is sung everywhere, so it'll be very interesting to see how these two people go at it. So and, I'm very much looking forward to it. And I think we also have two very interesting tenors. Dimitri Pitas has been looked at as one of the most up-and-coming young American tenors, has sung in Europe a good deal, has sung at the Metropolitan, uh, and, but the, the other man, Francesco de Muro, is making his American debut, and a lot of people in other opera companies are coming to Seattle to hear him because there's a tremendous amount of talk about this man. The Germain in the first cast here has been with us before, Charles Taylor. He has sung Germain at the Metropolitan, he's sung a good deal uh, at the Met, actually out of their Young Artist program a number of years ago, and I'm happy to have him back. Weston Hurt is somebody who I liked very much in audition. I think we have you know, six really important principles. And, and this is one of those Verdi operas where really there are three people and everybody else is very much of a much smaller role. Verdi, more than anything else, was a man of the theater who also happened to understand the human voice extremely well and who wrote some, some remarkable music. But for him, you know, he, he, was, he was every bit as concerned with the dramatic situation as he was with the musical situation. And this we have to remember in Traviata because the Traviata that is just singing and pretty is no Traviata at all. It needs right. to be, it is, it's got to be moving because it is a great moving story. And I think it's a very appropriate that we have white flowers here which are not really white camellias but look a little <laughs> bit like them, so that's, that's good. But we look forward to what you're going to do with this, uh, Maestro. I know it's going to be a, a wonderfully conducted show. Thank you so much, Spade. It's my pleasure.